following Theodore Modra's untimely and sudden death in 1930, Millard Sheets took over the directorship of art at the Los Angeles County Fair the following year in 1931 and was there for a long time, all the way up to 1956. His experiences were incredible. The art that he brought to the Pomona Valley, unbeatable. Write-ups all the way to New York as some of the best shows of the year. It was amazing what he did. What was more amazing were some of the stories that didn't make the papers. In particular, there was one moment in the 1930s when Sheets was sitting behind his desk inside of a room as people were coming in to view the art in that year's exhibition. And then walked this strapping man in a coveralls and blonde hair waving. He was a farmer and he was trying to look for the right building where he was supposed to be. And what he walked into was all kinds of art, all kinds of beautiful statues in the Greek fashion. Many of them didn't have any clothes carved into the stone. And for some reason it stopped him and it shocked him and he looked at the other art and he looked at the other art and, and he got so upset and so appalled that he, he stomped in to say, who's in charge here? And Millie got up behind the desk and said, hi, my name's Millie Sheets. What can I do for you? How in the world can you put this stuff on public display? This is, this is terrible. What, how, what is going on here? Here, come take a walk with me, Millard said. Not, not at said at the least, but it was a golden moment to teach. And so he began to walk and he began to go to the statues and he talked about form and he talked about balance and he talked about perspective and he talked about depth and he talked about the vision a sculptor has in his hands. And then he went to some of the artwork, some of the paintings, and he talked about lines and color and blend and balance and how do you fill a space. And he even talked about the frames. And soon he was talking about, you know, verticals and, and horizontals and, and diagonals and all kinds of wonderful terms. But there, right there in the paintings, why the man's eyes began to get wider and wider as he could see what Sheets was explaining about how art worked. And so it was that in the end, they, Millard showed him where he was supposed to go and the man nodded his head and, and thanked him. And away he walked and Millard thought, well, I hope I did some good. Oh, did he do some good. <laughs> Later that afternoon, who should walk in the gallery but that same farmer. But this time, he had his wife, he had his children with him. And he began to walk through with pride, talking about verticals and horizontals and diagonals and color and form and shape and balance. And Miller looked up and watched him and nodded his head, and it must have been with great satisfaction as he watched the man tour with his family into this whole new world they discovered, the world of art.